Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, we're going to be trying to solve an interesting mystery that I actually just recently stumbled across. I didn't even know it was a thing until I, I ran across this Kotaku article. I was doing some research on something totally different when I came across this interesting title. It was GTA fans find hidden Red Dead Redemption 2 mission, solve years long grave mystery. Now the first part to me was not confusing because this article came out in 2017. Uh, it was actually the mission where you unlocked the gold double action revolver. This came out in the Doomsday Heist. Long story short, what happens is you ended up getting a text from like a Vanderland at ifine.com, something like that. And what it basically did is it made you go to three different locations where you could find hints and clues that would eventually lead you to a stagecoach box in the ground where you could find a double action revolver. And if you found the double action revolver, you could get a free version of it in Red Dead Redemption 2. Essentially, it was Rockstar's way of cross promoting the ever popular GTA Online with their soon to be released Red Dead Redemption 2. It had not come out yet. Now, the second part of this title, of this article, and what we're going to be discussing in this video today is interesting. It solves years long grave mystery. And I was wondering what that was. Now, remember, this article was written on December. 14th, 2017. So about nine months before Red Dead Redemption 2 came out and nine months before we knew any details about the plot of the game. So the article says, beyond the eventual unlockable, one of the coolest things about this apparent mission is that it seems to close the loop on an ongoing myth within GTA 5. Years ago, Grand Theft Auto players found an unmarked grave on the eastern coast of the map. Nobody knew who it was for or what it referred to, though one of the theories was that it belonged to John Marston given the events of Red Dead Redemption. Well, according to data miners, the clues for this RDR-related mission lead to the exact unmarked grave. Perhaps folks were right all along. So as you guys can see right here, one of the coordinates for where you can find one of the Red Dead Redemption clues for the treasure hunt literally is on this grave. Now, in case you guys are wondering where this grave is or you've never seen it before, most people just know it as the grave on the mountain. Now, this grave is located on the top of the mountain south of the lighthouse in Cape Catfish on the eastern coast in GTA 5. Now, there's a couple of different theories as to whose grave this might ultimately be. One theory is this grave might be Ursula's mother, the owner of the lighthouse cottage, and is actually referenced when picking up Ursula as a part of the Strangers and Freak Hitchhiker mis mission. And in case you guys have never run into Ursula before, I'll actually show you guys her interaction that you have. It's pretty strange. I'm lost. Can you give me a ride home, please? Sure thing. I love hitchhikers. Finally, a nice man. Thank you. I live out at Catfish View, Mount Gordo, by the lighthouse. It's very isolated. Am I glad you came along? I was out hiking and got lost. I've been trying to flag down a car for over an hour. Why didn't you just call someone to come pick you up? I couldn't get a signal on my cell. And I don't really have anyone to call, not since Mama passed. She was very hard on me, but how I loved her. I have her hair in my backpack. Okay, what? The days get long out at that house all alone. I don't get many visitors anymore. The gardener used to come on Fridays till he got real sick and fell off that cliff. This is it, thank you. Here's my number, will you call me sometime? I get so lonely out here all by myself. I love you. Okay, so as you heard there, Ursula's mother is definitely a possibility. Now, the grave also could be haunted since it's nearby Mount Gordo. And we know the history with Mount Gordo. Mount Gordo is where you actually find the ghost on the mountain. 
And to give you the too long, didn't read version of that story, that ghost is actually Jock Cranley's wife. Jock Cranley is one of the political figures in game. He's also a stuntman and a reality TV star. Well, the rumor is that he pushed his wife off the edge of the cliff so that he could move to Los Santos and become a TV star. However, investigations have brought up nothing, proving it just as a normal grave. And the final theory that people are coming up with is that the grave is said to be a reference to John Marston's grave in Red Dead Redemption. Since the grave looks like his, and there are other references to Red Dead Redemption in GTA 5. And sort of the straw that broke the camel's back for this is it was used as a clue for the treasure hunt to promote Red Dead Redemption 2, possibly referencing the origins of the grave. So let's talk about that. In case you guys don't know what happened to John Marston, I'm sure you guys do by now, John Marston is killed in the final mission of the game, and he is buried by his wife and son. <coughs> Okay, so you can see John Marston's grave right there, and this kind of looks similar. It's very minimalistic, but the one in Red Dead Redemption uh, looked a little thicker and also like had a little nameplate on there for John Marston, whereas this one is literally as bare bones as it gets. It's, it's two sticks making a cross. Now, there's also a couple of inconsistencies with this. John Marston was buried at his home in Beecher's Hope, which is located in New Austin, which is supposed to be the southwestern United States. So like Texas, Arizona, New Mexico, places like that. We know that San Andreas is fictional California, with Los Santos being Los Angeles and the surrounding areas being other parts of California. So that's a little bit inconsistent, too. How would a grave go from Texas, Arizona, New Mexico to California? You know, land doesn't shift like that. So maybe it is just a reference to the grave. But also, this wouldn't be the first time in which we see John Marston in Grand Theft Auto V. He is actually one of our parents or can be one of our ancestors in GTA Online. So he is a part of GTA 5, just in a weird ancestral way. And there's also a ton of other Easter eggs for him in game two. We can find books and apartments. We can find t-shirts that NPCs are wearing that literally has his face on there. So John Marston is located a lot throughout uh, GTA 5. It's just a matter of if this is his grave or if it's a reference to it. 
So to give you my opinion on the matter, yes, I do believe this at a minimum is a reference to John Marston's grave. Is it his exact grave? I don't think so, but I think it is definitely a reference. Given what we saw in the GT Online treasure hunt, given all the other hints and clues and how you know widely renowned his character is in the Rockstar universe, it would make sense that they would do something like this. But I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. Let me know what you think of the matter. Do you think this is John Marston's grave? Do you think it's completely unrelated? Do you think it's an Easter egg? Let me know your thoughts, opinions, and more in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. Or you like daily Red Dead Redemption 2 videos like this. With all the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.